Okay, so what we have here is a power board that uh, was brought to us. And as we can tell, zooming in, uh, some of the capacitors are bad, uh, mainly that one. And then uh, this one right here, we can tell that they're bad. Um, specifically because we have arcing and burning on the board and um, cracked and bulging capacitors. So what we're going to do is um, pull these uh, primary side capacitors off and replace them out uh, with uh, different capacitors and then go from there to uh, you know get it up and running. So as part of our repair what we're noticing is that we have 1000 uh, by 25 and then uh, 2200 by 25 uh, volt capacitors here and um, our originals on the board as we zoom in here happen to be uh, 2200 UF by 10 volt so the standard uh, is that not only by replacing these we're actually going to upgrade them so we're going from 2200 to 25 as long as your UF stays the same your voltage can change as long as it fits the placeholder on the board so that's what we're going to do with this and we're actually going to replace these out here uh, now and then see how that affects the board as far as placement sizing and design Okay, so now we've uh, soldered these uh, points back on. As you can see, the, uh, the solder points look pretty good. So we're going to trim them back, and then we're going to uh, examine the top side and see how that looks. Okay, so now that we've uh, got our capacitors changed, we can tell that um, we've actually done what we're supposed to do because the uh, heat shields do not touch the capacitors they're not within touching distance and each capacitor doesn't touch so we're going to call this uh, complete on this machine